Hello. My name is Hans George Campbell and tonight I thought I'd show you guys how to get rid of screen tearing on your NVIDIA graphics card. Okay, the first thing you want to do is you want to verify the refresh rate of your monitor. Now, if you're like me, I'm sure that most of you guys out there, you're using an HDTV or a smart TV for your computer monitor. Like, you know, I'm using a 43-inch smart TV. Uh, it's a 4K uh, HDTV, and uh, the way you verify the frames per second of your monitor is you go down here, you click on your NVIDIA settings, just one time, and it should bring a screen up that looks like this, okay, it'd be under display, okay, and you should be running your HDTV at its native screen resolution, which is 1920 by 1080 or 1080p. And as you can see over here, the refresh rate of this TV, in fact, most HDTVs, is 60 hertz. So now that you've verified the refresh rate of your monitor, we know what to do. Okay, it's 60 hertz, which, which translates to 60 frames per second. Okay? Alright. So now what you want to do is you want to download a program called NVIDIA Inspector. I've already done that and I've installed it onto my desktop. You want to launch that program. And when it loads up, it tells you everything about your graphics card. Everything you need to know about your graphics card. Like my graphics card is an MSI GeForce GTX 1060 with 3 gigabytes of GDDR5 memory. And I'm running it on PCI Express Interface 3.0. Okay? Now, what you want to click on is you want to click on this icon here. Start Profile Inspector. Okay? Let it do its thing. You want to let it keep running. You don't want to mess with anything until it stops. So that green bar on the bottom, it stops running. Like that. Alright. Now, this is everything, I mean, all the different things that you can adjust on that graphics card. Okay? Even the stereo, you know, the audio, you can adjust. Because HDMI also includes audio. Okay? So, yeah, you can adjust all of this. SLI, I think, is if you're using multiple graphics cards. You can even adjust that. Okay, but the thing we're most interested in is this right here. Frame rate limiter, and it's under sync and refresh. Now, I've already done this on mine, but I'm going to redo it to show you guys how to do it. Okay, so you click on that, and it has a menu, a scroll down menu, or whatever you want to call this menu, okay, and you can adjust your frame rate limiter all the way up to 255 frames per second, which is, just, that's just pure ego right there, <laughs> okay. Um, now, you're probably thinking that since the monitor is, has a refresh rate of 60 frames per second, that that's what you set it at. You know, you set it at right here, uh, 60 frames per second, but you'd be wrong. At 60 frames per second, you will still get um, the screen tearing from time to time. What you want to do is you want to limit your frame rate to slightly below or slightly less than 60 frames per second. 
And so what I recommend would be 58 frames per second. Okay? And then you go up here and apply the changes. Sometimes you have to click twice to get that to happen. And see now the frame rate is limited to only 58 frames per second. Okay? And this way the frame rate will of your game, you know, will never be higher than the frame rate of your monitor or your HDTV. And it's just that easy, boys and girls. Just that easy. Um, you have to remember that you only need between 24 to 30 frames per second to get smooth gameplay. Yes, you heard me right. This is so important that I'm going to repeat it. So listen up. Write it down if you have to. In order to get smooth gameplay, you only need between 24 to 30 frames per second. That's all you need. So 60 frames per second, that's pure, or faster, that's just pure ego. Pure ego. And I can prove that. In fact, one day I'm going to create a video proving that you, you know, that you do not need 60 frames per second in order to get nice, smooth, clean gameplay. You only need between 24 to 30 frames per second. So 58 frames per second is plenty fast enough for any game. Okay? So I just thought I'd show this to you guys, how to get rid of your screen tearing. Um, also, if you have a gaming monitor, I mean a monitor like mine, this 43-inch 4K HDTV has a gaming mode. And when you turn that on, it bumps up the refresh rate from 60 hertz to 144 hertz, I believe. From 60 hertz to 144 hertz. And that also greatly improves... Um, you know, getting rid of your screen tearing because then you can also adjust your NVIDIA graphics card uh, to like a few levels below that if, 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 you, if you think that you need a little bit faster refresh rate. You know, if you have a faster monitor, then by all means take advantage of it, you know. But uh, like, I mean, most of you, I'm pretty sure you just have a standard. Um, LCD display or an HDTV that has your standard 60 hertz uh, frame rate, you know, 60 frames per second. And so this should help you get rid of your screen tearing. You know, in fact, it should work. It should totally eliminate your screen tearing. Um, anyway, that's it for this video. My name is Hans George Campbell. And until next time,